Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're, I'm going to give you my daily update on the Dungeons and Dragons OGL 1.1 2023 oh leak. I'm sorry. Let, let's try it again on the 2023 D&D OGL 1.1 leak. Is that's all we got so far? Just a leak, right? Can you imagine all this? All this firestorm is over a leak, isn't it? We don't. Even, people just speculating, right? Like, but but. But the fury, right, is real, and the drama is real, and the thousands, thousands of video commentaries are real, right? This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this, and I think that's another thing, too, is everybody like, oh, hey, uh, can you defend me as an OGL 1.0 champion? And people are like, no, I don't care about your noise, man. The Dungeons and Dragons over here kicking fire, man. Like, they you know, they scratch their butt and the whole D&D YouTube uh, social meds, like, just quakes. Anything they do gets massive coverage. Massive coverage. It is astounding. And there seems to be no ceiling on it, right? It's just, it's incredible, right? Like, it's just, it's you look at it and you're like, what is happening? It is astounding, right? And this, and, and for me, like all y'all's are like, what's happening? I know what's happening, right? Something that was never a game is showing its fangs and showing its claws and saying, you never understood what this thing was. You never understood what this thing was. You thought it was an engine for cutting goblins in half? You ridiculous fool. You never understood what you were looking at, right? And now people are furious, furious over something that's just about fun, right? It's about, it's all, as long as you're having fun, you're doing it right. <laughs> and now people are like, oh no, what is happening? And I, I am just absolutely astounded at just the spectacle of it, right? The You know, it's it's incredible, right? And I'm so here for it because I, I cause for me, Joy from Does the Dragon is just, it comes from every D&D canon hardback. It comes from the conversations I have right here on my channel. It comes from... Uh, from being at the table and running Dungeons and Dragons and playing Dungeons and Dragons, it comes from the Dungeons and Dragons products I buy from Lego, from Funko Pop, from Magic the Gathering. Right? Uh, it comes from so many sources and the spectacle, the the, the burning flames. Uh, like, who don't like to put their hands up to a good bonfire? <laughs> like, like that's what you're seeing. This is a bonfire of absolute every. Every concern of every OGL 1.0 tra- champion who ever lived, right? It's a bonfire of their hopes and dreams, right? I'm just warming my hands on it, right? Like, uh, because I because I don't celebrate copy culture. I don't sell. I don't celebrate copy culture. I do not celebrate copy culture. Woo! I have genuinely never seen anything like this. This is truly astounding. All right, let me get to my point. Today, I want to talk about, and I, you know, I, I, I'm not sure what I want to title this. I think all of us are like, what? Like, you know, the commentators are like, how do you know how to keep making content on this, right? So today, I, I have a little mnemonic. I'm going to do um, temporary trouble hand, okay? And I'm going to talk about three subjects uh, con, uh, connected to the 2023 D and D OGL 1.1 Firestorm, right? And and this this is real, like. Osar and Indy, there ain't no, they, like, there ain't never any, any firestorms over anything. They, nobody even knows what's happening over there, right? Like, uh, and so, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, temporary. Everybody's like, so I'm, I'm just going to correct a whole bunch of things because there's so much misunderstanding, so much misinformation about D and D OGL 1.1 leak, right? Uh, and if, uh, by the way, I just want to put a disclaimer out here. If I say D and G OGL 1.1 at any point in this video, I mean D and D OGL 1.1 leak. Okay. All right. So the D and D OGL 1.1 leak, what, what is it? What's happening? What, what should we be concerned about? Right. So here's some misinformation you're hearing. They're like, Oh, who would possibly publish under this? Thousands and thousands and thousands of creators who are just so excited to replace these OGL 1.0 whiners. They're like, oh, I will definitely, uh, I, and, and actually I will even say this, a lot of the OGL 1.0ers who are just spinning all this noise that they're going to leave D&D, the great Grognard Exodus, oh my gosh, RPGs and more just left. Um, it, it is um, Greyheart, Grey, uh, 
Greyhawk Grognard is leaving. Um, you know, they're leaving the drama. They're leaving the 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 interest in future D and D. They're clutching to the past, right? That's what I'm saying. The 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 great Grognard exodus is, and there's more. And I was I started a list, and I was like, I don't even know if I should keep the list because it's so long. And also, why should I keep the list? This is just Mastodon all over, right? I told you a bunch of fools would run over to... I'm collecting my I told you check. I told you a bunch of fools would run over to Mastodon and be right back on Twitter. And guess what? When they need to discuss this issue, everybody came back over to Twitter because Mastodon was nonsense. RPGs and more. He's got a video up right now going, You don't need D&D. You can shuffle yourself over to Cypher System and make stuff on Cypher System. Oh, can you? Right? Uh, and this is the part I love, right? Everybody's like, you don't need d d We're going to shuffle off to these other companies. There are other OGLs out there. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just laughing. I'm like, this is, you know, oh, RBGs and more. I'm laughing at you, buddy. Like, the idea that Cypher System is going to beat D&D, Monty Cook went up against Mike Merles, and he got wrecked. He got wrecked, right? He, he's like, I'm leaving the D&D uh, 4.0. Um, 5.0, I'm leaving the D&D 5e design, watch what I build. And everybody's like, yeah, we see that over there. That's cute. Your cipher system. Uh, yeah, I think Mike Merle's outsold every book your, your company ever made with probably the PHB alone, right? You should have said right on D&D. Nobody cares for your, and, and you know what? Monty Cook's a brilliant designer, but he couldn't stop a design. And he shoved a whole bunch of atheist agnostic nonsense in the middle of fantasy, which is which literally has gods in the middle of it, right? And he put a whole bunch of Hollywood energy in there. And boy, if if you OGL 1.0ers are, are thinking you're going to escape woke by going over to Cypher, try again. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that's quite laughable, right? Wait till you see the woke pancakes you're gonna you're gonna in fact you're gonna hit when you hit cypher right and so all these ogl 1.0 whiners are like they're like oh why can't i uh and and this this is the hand okay this is i cannot remind you enough the reason this is happening is the same reason so people are like how can you side with a corporation because that's this ain't my first rodeo i've seen all this before Right, I was there when the community, the Star Wars community, was like, "Oh, the prequels suck. Let's uh, let's just hound um, Lucasfilm and hound George Lucas and make sure he knows that he made this sucky thing." Right? Let's forget the fact that he created these amazing films that literally transformed theaters, that literally transformed, um, um, I, um, CGI itself, that literally transformed narrative, right, and delivered. And generationally catapulted Star Wars forward, right? They're like, no, no, the prequel sucked. Let's really get it on and like make sure that uh, George Lucas knows he sucked, right? And it's exactly what's happening right now. OGL 1.0 are like, hey, we have nothing to show you. We're like, all our stuff is derivative junk, right? But we'd like to really you to, you to know that D&D stuff sucks. And we're the victims here, right? And, 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 and the reality is like... Whew, we can we convince the you know like the Star Wars community convince the world that George was the problem, right? Uh, yeah, uh, what happened, right? And then Disney got it, right? You know, like George Lucas got really upset and said, "You know what? I don't think I'm going to continue to make content for you while you insult me to my face," right? And then he sold it to Disney, and it was an utter nightmare. And the trill the sequel trilogy was ten times worse than anything that happened in the prequels, right? It ain't the creators. It ain't the bean counters. It, it is the D&D community that is wrong here. This is all an echo of the same nonsense that happened with George Lucas, right? And George was right, and this is the issue. All these OGL 1.0 are like, this is unfair to us, right? So you got to pick a side. Which side should you pick? Those guys over there who, who put out a brand new, unbelievably amazing, exciting D&D hardback that has a unbelievable print job on it, unbelievable art, unbelievable writing, unbelievable layout, or are black and white derivative nonsense. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? <laughs> right? The OGL whiners are like, they're like, oh, here's all this unfairness. Okay, so let's get to it, right? Who's going to publish under the OGL 1.1, right? And they're like, if, if Watsy can just take your idea and make it theirs, what was the point? Right. And again, it's just a lack of history. Right. 
Elder Dragon Highlander, right? That's Commander now. The, like, Watsy was like, hey, we love that format. We're going to take it and make it ours, right? And people were like, you stole it. You didn't know they didn't steal anything. You took the time to create in their world, on their yard. Of course they took your stuff, right? If you want to own something, don't build it in somebody else's yard, right? I'm building a tabletop role-playing game right now. I have never used the OGL for anything because I'm not a copier, right? If I want to own something, I build it my on my own yard, right? Like, this was never a question. It was never a question, right? So the OGL 1.1 creators are going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to create on, on uh, Dungeons & Dragons content. And the reason why is I got a thousand ideas, right? And I can spin this up and it might be massively successful, but I don't need it. I got a million ideas, right? I can just run off and do anything I want at any point. I'm just going to use this to, to do one dive, a springboard, right? Just because you do one dive off of a springboard don't mean you own the pool, right? And that's what that's what it is. If you want to make OGL, OGL content was always meant as a springboard for you to do a cool little dive into the pool that everybody clapped for. It wasn't there to give you the pool, right? It wasn't there to, so that you own the diving board, right? It's ridiculous, right? And people are going to absolutely flock to make OGL 1.1 content. And they're going to spring off the board and they go, hey, did you like that flip? Did you like me going into the water coolly? Check it out. Here's my stuff over here. Come check it out. And they're all going to take their shot to beat Gary. Right, the only people who are uh, are upset about this, the OGL 1.1 is a gift. It's the best thing that happened that happened to D and D. Right, and every commentator out there who's whining about it, which is the vast majority of commentators, are 100% wrong, and they are not telling you the truth. In my humble opinion, they're not telling you that there's going to be a line of people who are like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it up on the OGL 1.1, and I will tell you right now, the D and D community will flock to see the new OGL 1.1 content and they will forget that oh, that dusty crusty OGL 1.0 stuff ever existed because they never knew it was there to begin with or <laughs> like OGL OGL's greatest achievements don't match Hasbro's worst failures okay here so that's the temporary part the OGL was always meant to be temporary okay it was never meant to make to give permanent ownership. This is that's a ridiculous statement, and it has no, it's just logic. Okay, and I just want you guys to understand this. Do if you build a structure in on land you don't own, don't think it's going to be there forever, right? That's just logic. That has nothing to do with anything that like, that any corporation has ever said. It's just pure logic, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, all right. Let's talk about trouble, right? I love these OGL one point oh whiners. You're like. Oh, Hasbro, you're in trouble now. We're we're slapping our mat, we're slapping our gums at you, so y'all in trouble. What they don't get is again, like these OGL 1.0 winers, it is all engagement. There's no difference between fame and infamy in America. You can flap your guns all you want. All that goes happens is the algorithms hear Dungeons and Dragons. They don't hear nothing else, and they're like, you know what people care about? Dungeons and Dragons, and they don't care if you're whining about it. They don't care if you're de deriding it, and they don't care if you're and they don't care if you're celebrating it. They just hear Dungeons and Dragons, and that's what the world hears, right? And we are here because no OGL 1.0 whiner has ever put up anything of significance. It's copy culture, and it can blow away in the wind. Okay, so the idea that this is that Hasbro's in trouble, and that this is going to ruin D and D. You don't understand how algorithms work. This ain't going to do nothing but shove Dun Dungeons & Dragons higher and higher and higher. Period. I right? think anybody's talking about money, cook games, other than RPGs and more. <laughs> Please. The Invisible Sun was a terrible failure. Terrible failure. It was a ridiculous, laughable failure. Right, like three hundred dollar box filled up, filled with stuff that four people bought and like were and unboxed and nobody plays today. Right, when's the last time you saw a stream for Invisible Sun? Right, you know. Now, with that said, I'm gonna say uh, MCG. I love that they they failed. Right, and I, I I do value failure. Like Monty Cook Games has courage, but then we got scale. That's the issue. All this whining, there's no scale. There's just no scale. That's the issue. Okay. All right. Temporary. OGL was always meant to be temporary. You were never supposed to set up shop and live on the OGL. And the idea that people think are like, oh, my job, you know, as a as a copy culture person should be protected. Ludicrous. Ludicrous. All right. Trouble. The fact that I, uh, Hasbro's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, it ain't nothing but shine. Like, 
and they just don't understand that, right? The last one is hand. I need you guys to understand this. This is all about the the hand being tired of bitten by the dog. I want you to go back. Look at Ghostfire Games. Ghostfire Games is a template, right? They make their living on OGL 5.0 content, right? Look at their podcast. They do nothing but disrespect Hasbro, Watsy, uh, just absolute pure, like blase insulting of their content constantly. And we are here because there's been a culture, a culture, a culture of these copiers making money saying, hey, D&D is my system, but let, but you, you listen to me as I, talk, as I talk smack about everything they do, right? Just absolute disrespect, ingratitude, insults, shade, constant. And this is the hand that has been bringing burger down to the dog, right? And saying, here's your burger, here's your burger. And the dog is like, ah, 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 right? And finally the hand's like, hey, no burger today. No burger today. We're done. I'm tired of you making money on my stuff and disrespecting our content and blaseingly throwing shade at our content and not giving us the credit we need or not even a thank you. It's so, it's so repugnant and everything that's happening right now, that's the part you don't get is these OGL 1.0 whiners have been biting the hand that fed them. That's why all this is coming from. I appreciate you letting uh, hearing me cover this content. I'm very excited about this little firestorm. And the reason why is <laughs> I understand how you scale, right? And I'll tell you right now, it don't matter if you're decrying it or celebrating. If you're talking about it, you win, right? And D&D is winning again. And the copy culture don't even understand it. Every word of that is my humble opinion. I am so eager to hear your humble opinion. Please get in the comments. Send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.